What's up gamers? My name's Ayushi and we're back in with some more Trove to Drove. We're on the test server right now, keep that in mind. But today we're gonna be taking a look at the torches down here and the Leviathan mounts because I gotta get these done or at least record this video as soon as possible because these torches are decaying right now as we speak. So as you end up going out into the Geo top side, uh, this is gonna be an update that will go to the live server uh, September, October, who knows, we'll see. There's going to be different uh, Leviathan bosses, respectively, for U8, U9, and U10. Uh, I've already covered kind of what they do, but I'll still kind of have like proper videos talking about each of the bosses. And today is going to end up being no exception. So when you end up fighting these guys, uh, or finding them rather, there's going to end up being uh, a biome that you'll see on the map. It's very rare to spawn. But the cool thing about these Leviathans is they're a very unique boss fight. They're going to be very, very powerful. Pretty much the same as like fighting any ultra tower boss. So you got to be pretty strong. Uh, and then you're going to end up uh, having a chance of getting some epic loot out of them you can get crystal three out of u8 u9 and u10 as opposed to the normal way that the game works when you're completing five star dungeons or just normal dungeons in geo topside u8 only goes up to crystal one u9 goes crystal one crystal two and then u10 has crystal one two and three now with the leviathans you can just be fighting those forever in u8 until you end up getting a crystal three and then just jump right up to u10 or whatever right uh, also, they are going to have a chance of dropping these torches, which are going to give you varying passive light stats. So we'll start here at the top because the chitin one is going to end up being the worst of the bunch. So that's going to end up being from the U8 boss. You're going to go out into the world, fight this guy, uh, and have a chance of getting the torch to spawn from him. Uh, and the first torch that you end up getting from him as a drop is going to end up giving you 250 light. And it looks like this on our character. It has a nice blue glow about it as well. The fire looks amazing. But the thing about this torch you're going to notice is it's got a decay rate. So this is going to end up uh, removing itself from your inventory and your character uh, as soon as the troll daily reset ends up hitting and uh, there's not really anything you can do about it however if you end up farming for three of these torches you can end up coming to the Sunseeker crystal forge which is always near the spawn and you could end up crafting a tempered chitin torch this is going to end up giving you a little bit more light so right now we're sitting you know it's going to give us 50 extra light but the biggest thing is that this is going to decay uh, on the weekly reset rather on the daily reset, right? Which is absolutely awesome because that's just all the more time that you can end up grinding this. It means that everybody's going to be coming into a habit of fighting the Leviathans on Monday. Same with Shadow Towers uh, or maybe Tuesday. Who knows? Just try to get this out of the way as quickly as possible. However, thanks to the devs for hooking me up because I didn't even know that this existed. There is a super, super duper rare item that you can end up getting out of these bosses. That is a legendary torch. And this is going to end up giving a little bit less than the tempered torch. But it's indestructible. You'll be able to just have a permanent 275 light for this legendary torch. You can see it also ends up having like a proper torch color, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I do have a mod. Somebody who wanted to remain anonymous threw me a mod that changes these torches to the Minecraft torches. So namaste for that one. Thank you so much. That was absolutely awesome. But for today's purposes, I'm going to be showing you guys what each of the torches actually looks like respectively, right? So that is absolutely awesome because I didn't know that these torches existed. I thought that it was just blatantly going to be like, uh, you know, the temporary torches. So that's just extra passive light so there's all the more reason to grind these guys on top of the fact that they drop mounts and the boss that you fight in u8 will actually grant you two mounts yeah that's pretty cool so let's check this out gamers because i'm not exactly sure what this is i'm not exactly sure what it's gonna look like uh it says we only gained 50 mastery even though we claimed two mounts so i want to kind of take a peek at that actually uh, i can just go to most recently unlock okay i see so that's how they that's how they fix it they make it so that one of these gives mastery and then the other one is just there for cosmetics i guess now the cool thing is each of these mounts is going to be tradable so don't you worry about that uh they are going to give 50 mastery to geode as well even though it doesn't physically show it there that could be my because of my enhanced ui mod but let's fingers hope this is fingers crossed here this is the first time that i've seen these mounts i wanted to have a genuine experience with you guys of the excitement here i really really hope that it's going to be as cool as the dreadnought mount and be like really grandiose and gigantic but i'm not expecting it to 
Whoa! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Yes! Oh my gosh! This is so cool! That is actually really epic. They actually went the extra mile of making it do something. Oh gosh, it's actually making me dizzy. <laughs> that looks so. Help me! Please! Help me! Ugh! Like he's gonna throw up. That is that is hilarious. That is actually hilarious, dude. I gosh, I hope all of them are unique like this. Oh my goodness gracious. That's awesome. So what about the other one? What's that going to end up doing? Spinning the other way? Oh, okay. So this is just going to end up being a proper surfing mount. Okay, so this one's a little bit lame. Man, alive the VFX glitches out. Because the VFX isn't intended it wasn't originally intended to end up being on a beacon behind your character. So I guess it just or a banner behind your character, so it just kind of messes up. Either way, like, see, this is what I was expecting. This one's kind of lame, but the fact that that other one exists has me hopeful that the other mounts are going to end up being really, really cool. I, I hope, right? Because this one's cool, but that other one, dude, like, I, I got to see that again. Wait, oh, dude, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, let's get the whirly one uh, and let's get our uh, let's get our dragon alt going here because this should be hilarious, right? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, it looks so beautiful. Especially imagine uh, if we had our Lunar Lancer ability proc, so we would be 10 times bigger. Uh, and then using an Ego Potion on top of that. Now, that would be epic, because you'd be giant and then have an even bigger head, and you'd be spinning around like a freak like this. Man alive. I can't wait to actually see what that looks like when we get to the, when this all comes on the live server. So anyways... We'll kind of skim through these other torches here just because I want to give you an idea. I do want to talk about them. So this is going to end up being from the second world boss. So this is going to be the boss that you can only find in U9 and he's going to be like a giant manta ray, right? So obviously this is going to end up giving a little bit extra light. So from 250, it goes to 500. So it's literally doubling the light from the ones that you would end up defeating in U8. Uh, and it's going to end up looking like this. Probably the most traditional torch, uh, even though it's kind of like gross and green and whatever uh but then again if you end up getting three of them you can end up crafting the tempered torch uh these crafting components aren't really that expensive they increase the amount of eyes that are needed for each of them and the amount of tentacles and pearls of wisdom but not by too much honestly speaking uh so then there's going to end up being the tempered one is going to give you an extra 100 light which is pretty crazy and it's just going to look like this with the same purple light. Uh, and then the unlimited one that you end up finding is Gam minus 50 light from the tempered one, uh, but is still very cool that they actually have something like this. I think that's awesome uh, that these are in the game. So let's check out the Timinitula, whatever. I really, really hope that this is going to end up being more than just a Manta Ray reskin. I, I really want it to actually be something unique uh, and not just, you know, not just a manta ray. Again, this was a tradable mount. Um, so that's very, very epic. But let's just do it, gamers. Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, it's just a manta ray reskin. At least he's kind of thick, you know? It looks like the boss. So it's kind of cool just because it's like, at least you've got this as a mount that you can, you know, mess around with. I wish it flew because the boss itself kind of hovers in the air when you're fighting him. I don't know. It's cool they went the extra mile. It is. The fact that it looks like the boss itself is is neat. Even though manta rays just aren't really my thing. I just don't really care. It kind of just looks like a weird organic airplane. I was really hoping it was going to end up being something unique though. The the bouncing mount here though for the the final big boss boy. I I, I wish that this was bigger. You know, like, I think that would have been really cool if it had its own unique skeleton like the spinning top one does. But whatever, you know, it's like, it's okay. Like, at least we end up getting something unique out of it. And then if you have this, other players will be like, oh, what's that? And they'll throw up in their mouths. But eh, eh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do, do you like this? I know somebody's going to like it. Uh, and that's what this is for. For me, it's just mastery. That's all I see this as. I don't think I'd ever use it. So now these extra torches, ooh boy, we go from 500 to 750 and it better be appropriate because defeating this guy in the in, in the U10, he, he sucks because he's got an ability that will one shot you. Similarly to the Daughter of the Moon's charged attack or the Dreadnought's nuke, He's got an ability that he can cast very, very regularly, has no indicator that he's going to end up using it, and it will actually one-shot you through death-defying. 
How's that for skill? Like, okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense that, you know, death defying shouldn't work on absolutely everything, but this definitely makes this guy the hardest boss to end up fighting. Like he's, he kind of sucks because he's really, really tough. He's really tanky. All his attacks hurt a lot. And he's got that one shot move that he can cast instantly. And there's no way you can avoid it. So whoever he's aggroed to rip, unless you're like a revenant and maybe you could heal out or something. But either way, this is what the torch looks like. Uh, and then again, if you get three of them, you can craft the tempered one, which gives you 150 extra light, which is crazy. And it's going to end up being the same thing, but it's in a nice purple fire. Really, really cool in that regard. Uh, and then there's going to end up being the legendary one, which is going to minus 75 light. But again, this is going to be just an extra permanent 825 light, which is a pretty big deal. You know, like that's pretty close to what a weapon ends up giving, isn't it? Well, I guess it's not really. It's more than a Crystal Tree face, more than a Crystal Tree hat, so that's definitely impressive. So our light is actually chilling at 5,000 now, which I don't know if I'm actually maxed out for my light on the test server here. I'd have to double check. But either way, this is going to be the moment of truth here, gamers. We're going to end up messing with the new mount. This is the ultimate, the ultimate trifecta, bouncy, resilient, and mostly harmless. I unfortunately am guessing that this is just going to end up being a bouncing ball mount, which are my least favorite mounts in the entire game, by the way. Especially for the most difficult boss, it really should be something way cooler. You know, like I, I really wish that it would end up being something a lot cooler than that, but more than likely it's just going to end up being a bouncy ball mount. Or at least if it ended up giving us more mastery, or if it was a giant bouncy ball mount, I could stand that. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, it's a giant fancy ball mount. All right, I'm satisfied with that. That's actually pretty cool. I do wish, I do strongly wish that it actually had its tentacles and it was like a mount that would kind of plop you way up in the air. Uh, either either it could be floating in the air or it could actually have all its tentacles going like blah, 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 blah. I think that would have been a lot cooler than something like this. Somebody has to mod this into a Metroid. <laughs> Just saying. Oh my gosh, Trove Crash. It was that epic. Yeah, so in all honesty, I, I'm not really going to complain about this one. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because it's not just a normal bouncy ball mount and actually has a lot of details to it. It's got that nice transparent layer on the outside, uh, you know, nice shading around it and everything. It's not the usual thing that we're used to seeing from the old Try and World devs where it would all just be one color. We actually see like a whole bunch of really nice details with it. And even, even the bottom of it, like, look at that. That is so a Metroid. That is 100% a metroid dude but that is so cool i actually like this mount like it's i like this bouncy mount never thought i'd say that like especially in trove but i would i would rock this if i ended up getting this on the live server i would be proud and i would rock this thing like this is actually really cool it's not the best it's kind of weird that our character just kind of goes inside it like this but i like it anyways guys that's it for the new mounts. Let me know what you guys all think. What do you think about the torches? You think that's cool? I definitely do. Especially the fact that we can get permanent ones. That's a big, big deal for me. And for collectors only, like myself, I mean, I have to try and get the legendary of each of these torches, but more than likely it means that unfortunately, I'm going to have to just farm the U10 Leviathan nonstop, even though he's the worst one to farm because he's like so difficult. But it means we could get the most epic rare mount in the game. Th this might even be the new top rarest mount in the game, honestly speaking. It depends on the drop chances of them. It would definitely be top 10. That's for sure. I, I guarantee you that these mounts are in the top 10. Or at least this one is just because of the difficulty of actually fighting the boss. But let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite out of these mounts? You know, do you think the torches are cool? I think that's awesome. Just passive light. Very, very pleasantly surprised that there is a permanent torch option even though it even in the description says it's incredibly rare, which means it's probably like 0.01% chance or something ridiculous. Uh, but I, I love it, man. I think this update's awesome. I think they gave just enough incentive to actually fight each of the di different individual bosses that it's actually worthwhile. And the fact that the mounts are tradable is awesome. The torch is not being tradable. I kind of like because it means that you have to earn them, you know, and that's just cool, right? And so long as it doesn't take me like a million years to end up getting it. I still think that they should have like an option 
they should always have an option of being able to craft these items just by I, I don't know by like having a dedicated player and maybe having a certain drop uh, from these bosses or something like that because somebody like myself my luck sucks in this game, so I'll never get any of this stuff. I'll probably have to buy all the mounts, and I'll probably just never get these legendary torches. Anyways, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Have yourselves a great day. Smash like, sub for more. If you want to support me, you can always sign up with the Trove link down below, and then anything you buy out of the store, I'll make a percentage of, or you can end up buying some of the merch. I do have an official Sayushi hat. It just hasn't arrived in the mail. Oh, hi, Merc. Have yourselves a great day, folks. Sign on, stay epic.